So here's what the Ride Safer looks like when it comes out of the box. You've got the vest itself. You've got a carrying bag that comes with it. You've got the optional head pillow. This is the bag that has the crotch strap, which is also optional. And it is intended to help hold the back of the vest down. <clears throat> In this bag, we have the, the uh, tether strap, which is going to have two metal buckles at one end and a single metal buckle on the other end. The two metal buckles go to the shoulders of the vest and the uh, single tether goes to the vehicle. Now, if you ordered your Ride Safer without the tether or uh, Ride Safer uh, Type 3 off of Amazon, it is not going to come with the tether buckle, but the vest will be the same. It's just that the package won't include the tether. And when you connect the tether to the vest, it's actually going to connect to these two rings here on the shoulders. Okay, so here we are with the Ride Safer vest out of the box, and I want to just run through some of these um, features of it with you. On the inside right panel, under the label here is where you're going to find the instruction book or store it uh, once you've done once you're done reading those instructions. These two patches right here, just on the back of the shoulder, this is where the optional neck pillow is going to Velcro onto the vest, and then that'll be positioned right about here on the child. Uh, this is totally a comfort item and not part of the safety of the Ride Safer vest. Next thing down is the straps, uh, the Velcro closure for where we're gonna adjust the gap at the shoulder to try to minimize that. And then these rings here on the very bottom back of the vest are where the optional crotch strap will attach. So this is where the Y part will attach. And then the single strap will come through, uh, through the crot child's crotch up to the similar ring on the front of the Ride Safer. Thing about the crotch strap is its function is to help hold the back of the Ride Safer down so that it's at a proper position uh, right about the child's waist, as opposed to riding up onto the abdomen, which will increase the gap at the shoulder. Um, final adjustment point is here on the buckle strap. This is uh, going to Velcro right there. And then there's the Velcro here on the front, and then the Velcro for the lap flaps here. And those can be at a curve so that when they're uh, sitting on the child's lap, they're gonna kind of follow the contour of their body there. Next thing we're gonna do is get Brody into the vest standing up. All right, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna just close it here. And what I wanna show you in this position is how to work the buckle. So there's a series of lines and circles here on the webbing. You're gonna pinch those which will change the alignment of the rings here. And then those just go right into the hook uh, of this side of it. And then what we're looking for is just a kind of a, a neutral tension around the child's abdomen. It does not need to be tight. Um, what the function of the Ride Safer is to do is to position the vehicle's seatbelt. So the fit of the vest on the child is uh, not nearly as important as the position of the seatbelt, which will check in the car. The other thing I want to mention here is that standing up, it's very difficult to get an idea of correct fit because we're looking at where this sits on the child's lap when they are um, sitting in the vehicle. So the next thing we're going to do is get Brody into the car and just a minute, and then we'll put the seatbelt on and we're gonna measure them for adjusting the back straps. So here we are in the vehicle, and what we wanna to do to measure up correct fit is pull the back of the vest down, whether you're using the, the crotch strap to accomplish that, or what we've taught Brody to do is just to kind of lean forward a little bit, hook it with his thumbs and pull it down. Can you show us how to do that, Brody? Yeah. Kind of like that, yep. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look at the gap here at the shoulder. Now from the manufacturer, 
it's okay if there's a gap at the shoulder as long as we're achieving correct seatbelt fit. So even though, uh, so there is a gap here, and right now the back straps are adjusted to the full length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten those up just a little bit, uh, and then we'll be right back. Here we are, we just got done uh, adjusting those straps in the back, and as you notice, we've gotten almost all the gap gone at the shoulder, there's still a little bit there, and that's okay. Next thing we're gonna do is position the vehicle seatbelt. Now, one thing to mention is that your child could, once you get those back straps adjusted once, uh, that's not something you need to do on a daily basis. It's just something that as the child grows and for that initial fit. The child could come to the car all dressed like this. Then the only thing left to do would be to put on the vehicle seatbelt. So that is as easy as bringing it across, buckling it in, slipping the lap portion into the lap clips and kind of pinching that seat belt is a good trick for that. I'll show you here on the shoulder is if you pinch it in half and then just let it slide right into the into the buckle, it'll just flatten itself out like that. We close that up. And then what we're looking for is a, the lap portion of the seat belt to be flat on the legs with the shoulder belt coming across mid chest, mid shoulder, right up to the vehicle. So here we have correct seat belt fit and you're good to go from this point forward. As long as you have the lap and shoulder belt, we do not require the, the tether strap. Now, some people do want to use the tether strap and I'll show you that in just a second. But I wanted to emphasize that this is the function of the Ride Safer Vest is to position the vehicle seat belt, very similar to a booster seat that elevates the child in order to accomplish uh, correct seat belt fit the Ride Safer brings the seat belt down to the child. So, for example, in a booster seat, there's nothing you know behind the child, going around the child, it's just there to position the seat belt. So if we think about the Ride Safer closer to being a seat belt positioning device versus a five-point harness, you can understand why uh, the gap at the shoulder is okay and the vest doesn't need to be as tight as we've all been uh, very well accustomed to getting our children tight into that five-point harness. So the next thing is the tether. This one's already connected in the back. So the last step we're gonna do is connect the tether to the vest. And that's as easy as buckling it in like that. The clips come down and over the vest. And then we're just gonna adjust the back to be at a nice neutral tension. Can you show us Brody by leaning forward that how that tether strap is gonna help keep him properly positioned pre-crash. So this is all proper fit. Thanks for your help, Brody. Have a great day. And remember, safety is about putting the odds in your favor.